All right, guys, how we doing today? Uh, this video is I'm just going to show you. I made myself a uh, chainsaw case, a lot cheaper than what the actual chainsaw cases run for. Um, there are no endorsements here for any of the brands that I'm going to say. So just want to put that out there. No endorsements either way. They're not getting anything. I'm not getting anything. So let's jump into it. Um, as you can probably see, this is just a DeWalt toolbox. I got it at my local tractor supply for, I think, with tax, was like 35 bucks. So not bad considering the um, case that I was looking for for my saw was around 54 with tax. So I saved around 20 bucks there. Um, and I think it has, it's actually a lot better, I believe. Um, so yeah, open it up here for you. And it does have the water seal, so hopefully nothing will get in there. It's got the handle up top, so it's easy to carry. All right, so the saw I have in here is the uh, Steel MS-271 Farm Boss. Um, I just cut the hole here in the corner for the sheath and the bar to go through. Um, I screwed this little piece of wood on here to hold my scrunch and I will probably drill another one here for some uh, files for sharpening my chain. Um, I mean, I think it holds a lot more than what your typical saw case would. I got my barn chain oil. I got two chains in here, two new chains. And I got some oil to mix with my gas. That's the only thing. I wanted to make this to where I could throw my gas can in here as well. But um, they didn't have one long enough and tall enough in the same box because my gas can, the, um, I guess you'd call it funnel at the top, tube, whatever you want to call it, doesn't bend. So that kind of threw a wrench in that deal, but that's all right. Um, and yeah, so yeah, I got that. And then it's just, Comes out nice and easy. This has the farm boss there. Pretty excited to use that this fall when we get to cutting wood for our uh, hunting lease. But yeah, I mean, there's nothing else really in there. I did put a couple holes um, down there and here, and then one down there, just in case there was moisture that got in there. I could drain it out, and then it's just. Slides back in like that. Put all your stuff back in there. And kind of arrange things and make, you know, different modifications if you needed to. One thing I did have to do that I was not planning on, I had to take my torch to it for a little bit. Because um, these little ridges here were hitting the chain brake and the handle there. So when I go to close it, I'd have to squish it down on that, so I just melted them. But, I mean, it's still nice and strong. Didn't mess anything up on the top. So, I mean, overall, saved myself 20 bucks, and I think it can hold quite a bit more than your regular saw case could. And I'd say it's just as durable. It's a nice, uh, nice hard plastic. So, and, I mean, it just buckles back up. And you got your handle here. It's about, you know, as heavy as you would expect for a uh, chainsaw being in there. But, I mean, it works out great. I'm excited to see how well it holds up for me. So, if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and uh, feel free to leave them down below. Thank you for watching. Hope I helped you out if you had any uh, ideas you were looking for yourself. Thanks.